dear students in the chapter of design of riveted joints today's lecture is on failure of plates at margins in riveted joints i dr balraj singh brar from yadavendra college of engineering talwandi sabo india am presenting the lecture continuing with different types of failure failures of riveted joints there are five types of failures failure by tearing of plates we have already discussed the concept of tearing of plates and the tearing efficiency then is failure by shearing of rivets we have discussed single shear of rivets and double shear of rivets single shear of rivets take place in overlap joints or butt joints with a single strap double shear of the rivets take place in the case of butt joints with two butt straps we also discussed shearing effic efficiency then is failure by crushing of rivets or plate either rivets will get crushed or plate will get crushed depending upon whose strength crushing strength is less we also discussed crushing efficiency today in this lecture we are going to discuss two types of failures failure by shearing of plate at the margin and second failure by splitting cracking of plates at the margin now continuing with the failure by shearing of plate at the margin say while designing accidentally the margin of the gauge line from the edge is less then what may happen when we apply tensile load to the edges when we apply tensile load to the edges the edges may get shear sheared along the shear planes as shown by the red shears and the ultimately our joint may fail at the edges failure by splitting or cracking of plates mainly tearing of plates at the margin same is suppose the margin was less we apply tensile load along the plates edges of the plates and the plate material in the edges may get torn and the plane which is getting teared is shown by the red highlight so resulting in the failure of plate at the margin so to arrest these two types of failures what we do is we control the margin m which is the distance of the gauge line from the edge we control m and for boiler joints it is suggested that margin should be 1.5 times d d is the rivet hole diameter it should it is it should not be less than 1.5 d and also should not be more than this because then if edges are more there is a chance of leakage at the edges for the case of structural joints there is no chance no chance of leakage so margin can be safely increased beyond beyond 1.5d and we say minimum margin should be 1.5d if the tensile forces are exactly acting normal to that we can keep minimum margin to be 2d in case of the structural joints 
by simply controlling the margin we know from the experience and from these empirical relations we can control these two types of failures with this the lecture is complete thanks